This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today has got to be the worst bike lock in the world. And I don't use that phrase lightly. I simply can't imagine a lock being made out of metal and being worse than what you see in front of you. But before I get into why this lock is so bad, you need to know what it's like just to sit next to this thing. Because whatever industrial solvents they use to make this thing they're there and they're throwing off these crazy fumes. It smells like I just dipped my head in a bucket of kerosene or something like that. They are literally making my eyes water. So we're gonna try to get through this video as quick as possible. And then this $3 lock is going right in the garbage can. So what is so wrong with this lock? I mean, after all, it looks nice. We've got an 11 millimeter shackle covered in in rubber to make sure you don't scratch your bike up. Metal lock body, looks like a dimple core with a little smiley lock in there. They can be tricky to pick. What did they do wrong? Well, first let's talk about the core. And if we look at this key, at this aluminum key, <laughs> which won't last very long, we can see there are one, two, three cuts in it. So we have a three pin lock, one pin less than a master lock number three. So about the same number of pins as your average luggage lock. Let's see what it takes to pick into this lock that is labeled the professional choice. Okay, we use some, put, put a tension wrench in there. And I'm not going to use a dimple pick. I'm just going to use the Sparrows SS Dev short hook, stick it in the back, apply some tension, just wiggle this pick around because that's all it takes. It's actually, I think, the longest it ever took me to open this thing. Let's do it again. There we go. Okay, as you can see, that picks open very, very quickly. But poor pick resistance is not enough to be labeled the worst lock in the world. You need to have messed up a lot more than that. So let's take a look at what else they did wrong. First, overall fit and finish construction, terrible. This whole thing just kind of falls apart, literally falls apart. Nothing holding it together. Locking mechanism. At first blush, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, we've got that, that locking lug right here. And let's see, it's attached to the, the core. Doesn't seem like there'd be any problems with that. It's made out of a nice hard metal. What's wrong with it? Well, what's wrong with it is that it's spring-loaded. And what can we do to spring-loaded locking lugs? Well, we can shim them. So let's say this thing is locking your bike up. Someone comes along with a thin piece of metal. They can simply insert it right here, slide it around, and the lock opens right up. No skill at all involved in opening this lock. So what else did they do wrong? Well, a lock should be hardened. It should be hardened because it will better resist bolt cutters and, and sawing attacks. And the best way to test to see if a lock is hardened is with a file. And I've already tested the lock body a couple times. You can see the little marks there. And I'll do one more, this little jeweler's file. So you can see it scratches up very, very easily, clearly not hardened. Someone would have no trouble at all sawing through this very thin lock body. And you can see that I actually measured it. It's 0.8 millimeters thick. I think it's about the same thickness as the curtain rod in my shower. Pretty pathetic. Then we can also check the shackle to see if, if that's hardened. And again, I already have a little notch in there, but let me see if I can do it once more for you. There you go, one more piece of proof that nothing on this lock is hardened at all. So overall, what did they do wrong with this lock? Well, they gave it a core that is very easy to pick. They gave it a locking mechanism that can be easily bypassed. It literally falls apart. It smells so bad it's making my eyes water and it's made out of very, very thin materials. Yeah, I think that qualifies it as the worst lock in the world. 
That's all I have for you on this three dollar uh, bike lock that I got in a dollar store. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.